Hello. Hey y'all, this is Brett, and I just saw this beautiful art gallery. And you know if I see something cool that I've got to stop and check it out. And this is Jay. Hi. <laughs> and she is going to give us a tour, right? Right. I'm going to give you a tour. So uh, anyway, so we opened this gallery four years ago. And um, you won't believe this, but uh, someone, we had our name, but we didn't have a sign. So someone in Washington call, uh, wrote a note on the computer and said, we're going to give you this sign. So um, my sister it was 75 and mm -hmm. I'm like 69. So we um, traveled up to Washington mm -hmm. and we got this beautiful sign for free. Isn't it just great? <laughs> and it's neon. It lights yeah, it's up. A, it's a neon sign. So we had to get the biggest truck because you can't put it on top of each other. And four old people loaded the sign up and we drove it back down here. It took four days, and um, just it was just like a great adventure. So cool. Come on in. Cool. Yeah, let's, so, uh, let's see what's inside. We have uh, lots of great artists in Abiquiu. This is uh, Julie Wagner. Mm -hmm. She does all these great ravens. So, um, what part of the country are we in here? We're in Abiquiu, New Mexico. And how, uh, does, how do you spell Abiquiu? A B I Q U I U. And that's uh -huh. where Georgia O'Keeffe lived and worked. Uh -huh. I didn't know that when I got here. Wow. But it's just a very special area. And um, I've lived here uh, 26 years. And uh, I was a teacher here in Abiquiu. Mm -hmm. I taught for 38 years. And then when I retired. What did you teach? I taught kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And I, I ended up as a reading coach. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I retired, this came available. Uh huh. And someone else was going to rent it, and I, th I told Bill, my husband, I said, well, why don't we rent it? <laughs> so um, so I say to people that your dreams come true when you're 66. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I open it. <laughs> Not 64, like Paul no, McCartney no, says. No, no, 66. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, so what happened is I love teaching, but I, I love this even more, even though I don't get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So what I have kind of become is the supporter of the community and the art. Cool. So come on in. Let's check it out. Do you have a website? Um, yeah, we have the Rising Moon a Gallery uh, and Art Center. And What's the name of the website? I think that's the name of it. Uh, maybe it's not a website. Maybe it's just a place to go, but... Okay, how about a phone number? 685-505-685-4271. Okay, and we'll repeat that at the end. Okay, great. Right. Okay, so this is the gallery, and um, what it was, it was two classrooms, so of course I felt at home, uh -huh. and then I've kind of um, just kind of put everything on wheels so I can move everything around, because mm -hmm. that's what you do in school, you just kind of move everything around. So most of these artists are local. Mm -hmm. We have a few, um, like this one, um, Hannah Shook is from Colorado, but we just love her work. We just think it's bold and direct, and she she's going to be a great artist eventually. Like this one is one thousand two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but um, in Santa Fe it would be like five thousand dollars. In Santa Fe, everything's more. Yeah, so we have great prices here. I really love this one. Oh, I love this one. This is uh, Sandy Nichols, and she's just a fabulous artist, and um, and she sells everything really reasonably. So this is uh, $2,400. Okay, and tell us what, what are originals and what aren't as we go along. Those are both originals, these, right? These are both most everything in here is that's hung is an original. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And so this is Steve Williams, and he um, he takes uh, found old found wood, and then he makes them into crosses. Wow, those are beautiful. Aren't they, aren't they great? Wow. What yeah. do those run? These. This one is six hundred, which is a great price, and this one, I can't remember. This is about a hundred and twenty-five or something like that. Uh -huh. So that's great, isn't it? And you know, this takes, it takes a lot of work and a lot of hours to make something like this. And so you've just got to appreciate original, beautiful that's, art. Yeah, that's Susan Kahn. Uh -huh. And that's Red Mountain out here. Uh -huh. And um, that's Incredible. $700 and it's just a bargain. Mm -hmm. 
Now the this man is How about down here. Oh, this is Amber Archer, and she lives right up the road, and she's just a great. These are all Raku, so she's just a great, great artist and great colorist. Mm -hmm. she's, they're just great. Aren't they fabulous? Sixty-eight dollars. Yep, sixty-eight dollars. That's a really good price for That's that. That's a really great price. And how about this little junior here? Oh, this is by Diane Haddon, and she is the first one to open this gallery here here on this site. And um, so I love her work, and we always carry her work. Um. Isn't it great? Mm-hmm. And then these are uh, these are Doug, Doug Coffin, and he's famous. So anyone out there who wants a deal. These are a great deal. These, these Doug Coffin. Coffin. C O F F I N, and um, you can go online and look them up. And these uh, were originally five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and we got them from the Rancho de San Juan, which went out of business, which was a um, like a, a four or five star inn and mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so currently these are a thousand dollars each. Mm -hmm. Wow. So okay. it's a, that's a great buy. And what kind of a painting is this? This is um, an oil, mm -hmm. and um, you know it's uh, it's the all the directions. Like this one, this one is the symbol for your dreams to come true. Mm -hmm. And this one, um, the equilateral cross, is for relationship, relationship um, to your spouse, to your friends, to. Mm -hmm. um, to your life, mm -hmm. and it's equal. Mm -hmm. Symbol paintings. Yeah. Okay, and this? This one is called Totem. I mm -hmm. don't know if you can see it here, but there's this little uh, image here of a face. And this is by Susan Schuler, and she just moved here maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. She was from Cincinnati and is very well known there. Mm -hmm. And that piece is $3,000. And tell us about these. Um, these are uh, Deborah Fritz, and she's uh, she's pretty famous around the United States, and she lives here, and she's just like an incredible artist. So um, sh the, this bird is uh, called the bird, um, the healing birds, because uh, her friend was Let's sick. Her friend was sick, mm -hmm. and um, she wasn't sure what to make her, so she decided to put a hand on mm -hmm. for healing her. Uh -huh. And then um, this bird is called the release bird. So if someone leaves the planet, then um, that's the kind of bird you give them. Okay. And this is called the answer, and it's uh, $3,400. Okay. Can we go back out here in front real quick? Okay. Tell us about this stuff here. Okay, so this is Armando Adrian Lopez, and he lives right down the street. Uh -huh. And he's, um, I've known him for 26 years, and when he first came here, he was a farmer. He's from Mexico. Uh -huh. And at the end of the day, he would go out, and he'd be in the field, and he'd be uh, sculpting things. So I'll show you what else he does. And then much later, then he became a fabulous painter. Don't you love it? A it's piece. beautiful. Yeah, this piece is um, actually a bargain. Mm -hmm. What does that one run? It's uh, $6,000. And he's in the MOLA in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And um, is, 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 is getting f quite famous. The, these are really great. He, I, I love this artist. His name is Robert Reynolds. And he's a plein air painter, and um, that one's like $300. Uh -huh. And um, he paints on site. And now he's starting to... Um, I like that one. Yeah, he's starting to go a little bit stronger and use his palette knife. So this one is $400. Uh -huh. But he's very good at contrast. See, you, you'll probably like these too. These are all like with a palette knife. Uh -huh. And... Um, he, he's high contrast. Mm -hmm. These are his these are his older ones, mm -hmm. and aren't they, aren't they just gorgeous? They're mm -hmm. five seventy five. Mm -hmm. Cool. And how about down here, this jewelry? Uh, this is uh, Marcia Franco. She again, she's local, 
I love those, except they're just like for me too heavy because I'm so thin, you know. Yeah, but aren't, aren't they great? <laughs> but those look are, at these. I love these. These are cool. Oh, yeah. This is by Lori Wilms. Mm -hmm. And she, um, these are called steampunk pieces. You take old things with new things and mm -hmm. kind of put them all together. And this is called uh, Picasso Jasper. Don't you love that name? Mm -hmm. Back in Asheville, all of this stuff would be a lot more money. Asheville is, is like a... It's very expensive? Yeah, yeah. Ash, Asheville's in the east, and it's the touristy town, you know, and there's a lot yeah. of art. and. Yeah, I, I love these, too. The, what Marsha does is she goes online, and she gets old pieces, mm -hmm. and then she combines them with her mm -hmm. gems and stones. That's cool. So, like, this one is, like, 250 this one's 275 and this one is mm -hmm. um, 575 that's probably was expensive. I lived down in Silver City for oh, a couple did? of years. Really? And there's a lot of great artists down there. Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Did you like it? It was okay. It was okay. I don't know if I could live there. I don't no, I, I was there for a couple of years, kind of. <clears throat> It wasn't my choice. I got stuck there. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> we'll talk about that maybe okay, some so, other day. Uh, this is a fabulous artist. It's a husband and wife team. And uh, they put us up this show special for the... We're going to have the Abbey Q Studio Tour this weekend. And, um, and I just love their work. And uh, sometimes they collaborate. And That's kind of like a boat. Yeah, he, 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 this is a boat, kind of inlaid in there. Uh huh. And um, I guess when he was young, he was in Wisconsin, and there were lots of those long boats. Uh huh. So he kind of uses that in his, in his artwork. Uh huh. And then Diane. Art is such a cool thing because it can be anything. I know. So this is his wife, uh, Diane. Mm -hmm. And this is 525, and she takes old fabric and does like just collages, everything. And she's actually studying abstract art right now, so mm -hmm. you can see um, the impact on that. And then, um, wow, we're really moving right they, along. They, and that's isn't good. This, this is called the love letter, it's 575. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, it's cool. I love this one too. Although I sew, I've never met any art sewing. I just make products. So what do you make? Millet hole pillows. What is it? Millet hole pillows. What? It's just the best pillow that you can get. Oh. Uh, millet holes, you know the grain millet? Uh huh. Well, the hole is the outer part of the millet that has to be removed so that you can eat it. And you might as well do something with the millet holes, so they make the best pillows. Wow. I have you one have in my car, me. I'll have to show you. Right now I'm not doing any of that, I'm traveling. I love this piece. I, this is um, like $275, uh -huh. and I, I don't know if you can see it really good with the light, but it's just a great piece, great mm -hmm. collage. And then she, uh, Diane, makes these little orbs. And, um, These are orbs. She named them orbs, but they're su supposed to be what you think they, su you know, whatever you identify with them. Mm -hmm. And then um, th these can you can buy individually, and then these they work together in a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this? Oh, these are fabulous. These are boxes. This is three seventy five, and it's uh, he just. Um, He's a perfectionist, so, well, they both are. But you can see the green on it and mm -hmm. how he puts it cool together. He's, he's just really amazing. And then um, this is called the Boathouse, and it's mm -hmm. $2,800. And mm -hmm. I, I love this. I hope you So mind. cool. But he took all this Asian paper, and he wrapped the stones with the, the Asian paper. Wow! Don't you love that? Wow! And, and it's so they're all those. they're they're all in there. And then these are old. Um, I want to see that again. Counters. Isn't Asian that? paper. Mm hmm. Isn't that fabulous? Huh. That doesn't feel like there's any paper on there. I know he's so he's so good at applying it. <laughs> so this one is already sold, but let me show it to you because it's so great. So he has all this like, Asian paper in mm -hmm. here, 
And then he's collected all these old Asian journals. And he has the paper on the sides. Mm -hmm. And I don't, wow. I, I don't know what this part is, but it's just fabulous. Okay. Let's see. And uh, this young woman. Let me show you this, this young woman. This young woman is 29 years old, and um, we just had a show for her uh, a couple weeks ago. And these are her newest pieces, and um, you know I'm trying to give her a, a little push. Mm -hmm. So she uh, did, you know, a little artist talk, and mm -hmm. we had an opening for her, mm -hmm. and the whole room was just her things. Aren't they just beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's all palette knife. Mm -hmm. Cool. And this is Sheila. Hello. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> opening work. <work. laughs> and she's opening Dick Bomagi's work. Uh, he's a potter here. <laughs> that, that's another one of Sandy Nichols. Um, that's really cute. Isn't it? Just uh, she's such a great painter. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Okay, let's move on. And the battery is running those. out, so we have to keep going. I, I want to okay. do this in one take. Okay, uh, that's I love I'm, the vibrance. This is one of my pieces. I love color, you can tell, right? Yeah. And, um, yeah, aren't they great? Mm hmm. And then these are also by Armando. He gave a class here in wire, oh. wire sculpture, aren't they? Oh, Just great cool. how yeah. they are on there. Yeah, let's, three dimensional. Let's go in here. Cool. I know he's so great. Oh, and how about this? Oh, that's uh, uh, Steve Williams. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Same guy that did the other cross. And that's, uh, six, we six hundred dollars. Uh -huh. We stopped at a giant cross in northern Texas the other day and made a video. Oh, you did? Yeah. So this is uh, this is a piece of Armando's work. You know the man. Oh, that's Armando's also. So these are, uh, oh, those are mine, mm -hmm. this is Armando's, and he, a lot of his work is um, dream work, mm -hmm. so whatever he dreams, then he just makes makes it. Mm -hmm. So when he starts the <laughs> wire work... <laughs> you were supposed to stay outside. <laughs> yeah, good She's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. So this is Armando's too. Oh wow! So uh, wow, that's after a working, trip. Like in the fields all that time. Wow, this now guy he's is good. Now to this. Wow, isn't that just amazing? <laughs> just amazing. Now I want that you to see. There's so per there's cool. pearls on it. All these different pearls, and um, there's all these. Uh, oh my God, that like, is tiger incredible. Eye and wow. Garnets. Okay, how much does that one run? You know, I, you know, I'm not sure, but I think it's about seven thousand dollars. Wow! Isn't that, isn't that great? It is cool. So uh, this is uh, Sandy Nichols again. And that's, Neat. Isn't it great? And that's the truck out front. Uh -huh. Did you see it? Oh no! Maybe, maybe shot check it out. And that's three hundred and thirty dollars. Uh huh. And this one? And that's Sandy's too. That she's working on a palette knife on that one. Uh huh. And, and this jewelry. Oh, and the jewelry is, uh, let's see, a lot of it is, um, uh, let's see, Diane Haddon. She takes all these old pieces and she reconfigures them and puts them all together. Mm -hmm. And that is um, $70. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one. This is a great one. Again, th this is an old button. Mm -hmm. So sh I don't know if she goes online or if she goes to... Um, mm -hmm garage sales but that's like sixty six dollars love that yeah. you like that one mm -hmm. it's a old laurel birch pen that she kind of reconfigured let me move that <laughs> and um these are diane Haddon's also they're fifty five dollars mm -hmm. aren't they great mm -hmm. and that's hers too and these are from the mata ortiz from mexico Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a great piece. This is a, a Diane Haddon piece. Don't you love this piece? Oh, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. This is so cool, mm -hmm. I think. Turn it around, Tana. Let's see yeah. It's like one of those old boxes. Uh -huh. it's it's like, looks like leather. 
Yeah, she uh, folded it. And so it's like 200 and... 215. Is that what? 218. Two, $280. Oh, okay. And then, again, this is these are Robert Reynolds, and he's just a really great person with light. Mm -hmm. Especially this one. I think it's really, really great. Mm -hmm. And this is Hannah Shook again. And, oh, I love this one. Don't you love this one? This is uh, Deborah Fritz. Mm -hmm. And she called it Holding the Honey. Okay, and we're back to there. And anything yeah. in the center here for oh, over here? Oh yeah, these are all. Uh, Let's look at these first. Oh yeah, these are Mate Ortiz, um, the man who delivered the pottery. This mm -hmm. is the one he made. They're all like hand signed, mm -hmm. and in the whole community, um, you can find all of that kind of pottery. And um, mm. they they don't they just do it by hand. They don't measure it or anything else like that. But like a little bowl like this. Let me tell them how much this little one is. This is $30. Now in Santa Fe, this would probably be $70. Mm -hmm. But I try not to put the price up too much. This is 45 mm -hmm. And this one is um, 40 This is cool. Yeah. Now this was given to us. I don't know the history of this, but I, I love this. I love how it has like all this um, hair. stuff on it. You know, all these it's got jewelry hair. Jewel, yeah, jewels on it. Oh, that's kind of jewels. This is way cool. Oh, that's a Sandy Nichols one. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. She and Phil, her husband, uh, work together. They do a collaboration. I'll show you my favorite. That's one. fifty-five bucks. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. There's a deal for you. Fifty-five dollars. Oh, that's a real deal. This is the one, I, I bought this one because I loved it so much. <laughs> it's got boobs. Yeah, don't you love it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just has great feeling, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Metatroc Naturod. I think it just kind of made it up. Wow, that's neat. Isn't that cool? How much did you pay for that? Uh, $68. <laughs> that is so cool. Isn't <laughs> that <laughs> cool? <laughs> so I would definitely buy that one. For yeah. And how about this one? This is one of theirs, too. I love this one. This They just lowered the price on this one. Um, they have a koi pond in their yard. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I just think they, I think they just do really cool. Okay, y'all, the battery ran out for that video, but we'd pretty much gotten through the whole gallery. And, uh, yeah, just some beautiful stuff here. You gotta love it. And I know good art when I see it. My uncles are all artists. My uncle Harold owns an art studio in Salt Lake City. So, in any case, the information is it's the Rising Moon Gallery and Art Center dot com. Just Rising Moon Gallery and artcenter.com and the phone number is 505-685-4271 so yeah if you liked any of that stuff give them a call check them out online hope you enjoyed the video have a great day